Down in Thrashville, there's a boy named Billy Cass who played guitar and sang his heart out at the bars. Till one night Dizzy Blue came passing through them lonely parts. He was searching for a fix to cure his scars. He said, Billy boy, you sound like shit. There just might be hope for you yet, and I'm going to show you just where to start. Who now? Listen close, it ain't easy, see, cause you gotta dig down real deep and rip them demons right about your heart. Sing it like you mean it, boy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sing it like you mean it now. Ooh, 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 yeah. Sing it like you mean it, son. Ooh, 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 yeah. Sing it like you mean it, boy. Ooh, 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 yeah. And I always leave them wanting more. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. That's it. It's short and sweet. All right, welcome to another episode of Two Scoops. This is the first of many on this tour, and there's been plenty in the past. Today, I am in Charlottesville, Virginia, with frontman of Ruckus the Bulldog, Billy Castle. Rock and roll. we we'll put some, like, audio claps or something. Like that. Love <laughs> lots. Take, take one from, like, uh, yeah, the biggest festival you can find. I'll find huge, huge yeah. clap, huge audience sounds. Don't do um, that, though. Billy, tell me a little bit about Ruckus the Bulldog and, uh, you know, your guys' start and... Cool. Yeah. So we started out um, here in Charlottesville, Virginia. Uh, Jimmy and I just met up at some random kind of jam session that a friend had set up. And he just was the loudest drummer I've ever met. I couldn't even hear my amp. I just had this little amp. And so basically I was just lip syncing or like faking it because I couldn't hear it. But I was just really excited that I had met this drummer who just played the drums incredibly loud. And he's also just a really awesome guy. And so we kind of became quick friends and started jamming down here in this creepy basement. (laughs) And uh, a few months later, we released the band. That was just January 1st, like five months ago or something. And uh, and he's a... He's a madman. He just like started booking gigs right away, even before we were ready. We didn't even have a set together. Right he's like, I'm booking gigs. Do you want to play this gig? It's like, what? How? We don't have a set or any music together. But he made it happen. And now, less than six months later, we're playing this uh, festival called Rock Fest oh, yeah. um, here in town with bands like Puddle of Mud and like Saliva and right Trapped on. on the Bill. And it's like, dude, Jimmy, you're insane. I'm not ready for this. Yeah, I got talking about booking me. Yeah, yeah. man. Good job, Jimmy. We'll talk. Yeah, talk to him. No right. joke. Um, you, said a, you said a little bit about the story behind Ruckus, and there's kind of a storyline or something mm-hmm. going on. What yeah, is- so the whole band and, and pretty much all the songs are based uh, around this comic book story called Junk Punk. And um, I play this character that's basically myself. I'm sort of the narrator, which I think f- is fitting for the lead singer because I'm basically telling the stories. Yeah. Uh, but I'm almost not really a character in the story. I'm just, you know, the one telling people what's going on. Uh, the more animated individual is Jimmy, and he actually plays the role of the protagonist, Ruckus the Bulldog, who's this prize fighter who lost both of his hands as a child and got them replaced with these uh, robo mitts, as I call them. But they're just, you know, uh, prosthetic hands that are like really badass, like uh, robot arms. And he fights against these machines in a in a large, you know, sort of like wrestling you know few post-apocalyptic wrestling match called uh or boxing match called uh the bot brawls and oh, yeah. and so our band name is basically you know just the lead character and we just write songs about this weird post-apocalyptic dystopia that takes place in a town called thrashville and we're just rocking and rolling in this weird fantasy That's world like so awesome that you guys incorporate like are you yourself in the comic books? I, mean, is I love that, comic okay, books. Okay, right yeah. on. Yeah. All about comics. Well, I was wandering down the dark street in the dead of night. When I came across a woman, she had the fire in her eyes. She said, hey, then, little boy, why don't you come on over here? Got this magic potion to take away your fears She had red lips wet with whiskey Lashes miles high Of course it strung around her waist It made the angels cry She was sent by the devil to take my soul Down to the underground Where the demons make their homes She took me to her bed And she slapped me across the face Said listen to the boy I'm gonna put you in your place Ooh. Now her 
eyes stare as dastardly and her kiss and goodness. Her words flowed out like poison, turning ignorance to bliss. Now I'm a gentleman, but she liked to play her rough. Figured it'd be better if I didn't make a fuss, cause she was sent by the devil to take my soul down to the underground where the demons make their homes. She took me to a bed and she slapped me across the face. Said, Listen, little boy, I'm gonna put you in your place. Ooh, ooh. the devil to take my soul down to the underground where the demons make their homes she took me to a bed and she slapped me across her face said listen little boy i'm gonna put you in your place Um, my writing's mostly influenced uh, originally by like Tom Waits. I'm a huge Tom Waits oh, yeah, fan, and then much. I got some inspiration from uh, other bands just growing up, like uh, Rage Against the Machine, The White Stripes, and uh, I like the Black Keys a lot. That maybe influenced our duo kind of thing. Cool. Also, just necessity because it's hard to find you know people and schedule everything. So oh, yeah. we work well together just with our schedules. Uh, basically, I'd say our biggest influences are probably uh, bands like ZZ Top, Tenacious D, because it's kind of there's a comedic element. And uh, I know Jimmy's favorite band is Thrice. And, right on, uh, yeah. yeah, he's into a lot of this killer metal stuff, and it really shows in his drumming. He's very, like, I don't know how to put it. He's, like, improvisationally technical. Like, he's he never plays the same way, but it's very technical the way he plays. Like, his rudiments are on point, but right he's on. just, like, a madman, and it's always different. So a lot of the show, I'm just kind of watching him, like, is the hit going to be here or is it going to be there? Because it's never in the same place. <laughs> Well, you guys heard it here. You're going to find more information about Reckless Bulldog. It'll pop up right here. I'll put like a hyperlink on top of all that stuff. It'll work out nice. Billy, thanks for hanging out with me today and doing this interview with us. Uh, I'll keep you all posted. Enjoy some more music. Thanks for hanging out. Well, I met a woman. Her name was Tragedy. Came down from outer space to soak up the energy. Took me on a rocket ship, exploding through the Milky Way, and turned into a bad trip. But she shook me with them wicked ways, yes she did. Shook me with them wicked ways, wicked ways, wicked ways. Hey hey hey, wicked ways, wicked ways, wicked ways. Now she shook me with them wicked ways. I never should have listened, but them words are so sweet, and I'm a natural born sucker for curves that day. And I ain't gonna lie, she knew how to please, and I sure didn't mind the things she did to me. No, oh, she did me with them wicked ways, wicked ways, wicked ways. Hey, 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 wicked ways, wicked ways, wicked ways. Now. She shook me with them wicked ways. Woo! Uh, all right now. Wicked way, wicked ways, wicked ways, wicked ways. She shook me with them wicked ways. Woo! Uh, all right now, here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. 